It's official. Hot tub time machine is the new Back to the Future. Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan, and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Now, before I get into talking about the movie, I just want to point out that the first Hot Tub Time Machine movie is fucking awesome. In fact, it is one of my favorite movies of 2010. And after rewatching that particular movie, I'm gonna have to say that my opinion on it hasn't changed. And because of that fact, I was very fucking hyped for the sequel, and it did not disappoint. So the plot of the movie goes basically something like this. A guy gets shot in a dick, so the protagonists of the movie have to go to the future and prevent that murder from happening. Now first I'm going to talk about the guy that got shot. Lou Dorson, played by Rob Cordray. Now Lou is a fucking asshole. There is no hiding or denying that. He is such an unlikable cunt. He basically changed the past for his own selfish reasons so he can become popular and extremely rich. I can't say I exactly blame him because if I had the ability to time travel I would take fucking advantage of that as well. I don't have a problem with him becoming rich off of inventing Google and name it something else. I don't like him because he treats his friends like absolute shit. It is a surprise that he even has friends. But then again, a lot of people have at least one friend who is an asshole. And keeping a friend with that guy despite that. I don't know why the hell people even bother to hang around with those kinds of people. But it's still common for some reason. Anyway, the next character that I'm going to talk about is a character who is very likable. The youngest one of the group, Jacob Dorchen, played by Clark Duke. He's a very fucking awesome guy, nice guy, and fun to hang around with. And in the future, he is the one at the fucking top of the world instead of low you, which is fucking awesome. Now, he didn't want to be treated like shit, which is understandable. But despite the fact that his friend is an asshole, he still wants to prevent the murder from happening. That is fucking awesome. That shows that he is a true friend. I still can't explain how people can be friends with assholes, but it happens. The next character of the movie that I would like to talk about is The Repairman, played by TV Chase. This guy only makes one appearance throughout the movie. Just one. But despite the fact that he only appears in one scene, he does say one of the best lines of the entire movie, which is, The time machine doesn't take you where you want to go, but where you need to go. Which is fucking awesome. That's such a fucking fantastic line. And I'm sure that I will remember it years from now. Whenever I think of this movie. Now what else can I talk about? Oh yeah, the humor. This is a movie that's both a science fiction movie and a comedy. And I have to admit, this movie fucking succeeds as being a comedy. I was laughing throughout most of the movie. Most of the jokes are crude humor. And I'm a huge fan of crude humor. That's why I watch South Park and Family Guy so much two shows that are full of them. And it's just as fucking funny in this movie as it is in those two shows. Another thing that I must point out is the references. This movie is full of references to other movies. Which are mostly references to other movies about time traveling. Back to the Future, Terminator 2 and other movies about time traveling are referenced in the movie. Which is fucking awesome. I found the references to be very fucking cool. And they also fit in the script. Yeah, the references are in the dialogue, nowhere else in the movie. It's still fucking awesome though, and I love it for that. The only problem I hear with the movie is the fact that I doubt 2025 will be even close to how it is in this movie. 
But you know what? I'm okay with that. I know that moves about time traveling aren't trying to predict the future. Instead, they make fictionalized version of what the future could be. I don't know why it took me so long to realize that. And this fictionalized version of the future in this movie is so fucking awesome. I'm not gonna neither talk about it at all in this video because I think you will enjoy this movie most if you don't know how the future looks like in this movie. But this movie is definitely worth watching for that. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Sequels are almost never as good as the first one. And this movie is no exception. Even though I fucking love this movie and think it's fucking awesome, it doesn't even come close to the awesomeness of the first movie. But again, that's just expected. And I stick to what I said by the beginning of this video. I really think that the hot tub time machine franchise has the potential to be the new Back to the Future. And for that I'm going to give this movie two thumbs up. I hope to see Hot Tub Time Machine 3 and you bat your ears, I will watch it and most likely love it. Well guys, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.